Oh, that's a good crowd here. Thank you very much for having us. Uh, we're excited to, to be here and talk to you about uh, how Mercedes-Benz are transforming, uh, how our beautiful products uh, are becoming more and more digital, uh, and uh, also shine some lights on uh, some of our development technologies. So I'm going to start off, and Catherine's going to follow um, and uh, talk about that. So let me start with showing you a picture of our newest family member. This is the new CLA uh, hitting the streets in the next couple of days. And this is our first software-defined vehicle. Uh, the Mercedes-Benz vehicles have always been beautiful, uh, but now it's really powered by uh, software to make it a dynamic experience. And uh, really, it's all being driven, of course, by a water-cooled computer and making sure that we have enough horsepower to actually have a changing and evolving experience. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. But instead of me just talking about it, let me show you a video. And that gives you a little bit more of an emotional impression what kind of experiences you can expect in the CLA. Welcome to MBOS. Created for customers, tailored to every market. Constantly improving with over-the-air software updates. High-performance computing, combined with access to all sensors and actuators for an intuitive and immersive customer experience. Bringing AI-based and point-to-point -point assistance systems to the latest models. And now you can also upgrade the driving assistance systems even after you bought the vehicle. MBUX Virtual Assistant, combining human-like conversations and the best generative AI tools into one powerful solution. Best-in-class navigation and amazing 3D graphics. Your favorite infotainment, anywhere, anytime. Video streaming, AAA gaming, video conferencing, and much more. Even better, in the future, your car will be able to power your home or support the grid thanks to bi-directional charging. For a new level of intelligence, safety, comfort, and fun, this is MBOS. Not bad, eh? So there was a name in there, Mercedes-Benz Operating System, MBOS. And, and what is that and what have we done? Uh, well, we have, uh, through our architecture, our software-defined architecture, uh, separated hardware from software in order for us to be able to roll out new digital experiences independently of the hardware. So this architecture goes into every Mercedes-Benz uh, going forward in the future. So uh, we just la we've launched the CLA. There's a new one coming out uh, in, uh, in uh, Munich in, uh, at the EA in September, and it's going to roll out, continue for there. It's, of course, a, a cloud-based uh, service-oriented uh, architecture. And let me talk, uh, tell you a little bit about uh, the, the experiences that is coming in here. So first of all, we need to enable uh, the new agentic approach, so how to use models to break through barriers that we couldn't break through before. The very best example where we've actually used uh, models to break through barriers is in our Mercedes, Hey Mercedes, which is our virtual assistant. In the past, when you try to have commands and talk to your vehicle, it was very cumbersome. You either needed to memorize something, or if you had a fun, funny dialect that I have in German, uh, it just could not be recognized. Now, with the models, so we're using two, uh, two models in this approach. We both have a version of GPT and Gemini in order to uh, have a natural fluent conversation. And with this, we've been able to, through our beta programs, been able to prove and see that actually the usage rates of our system is increased uh, multiple times, six times actually higher in this particular uh, study. And we're able to then continue to, to improve this to make sure that the accuracy and fluency of the conversation is there. Of course, we've been able to rapidly uh, evolve this over time. So, of course, it's not only something that is a voice. We're also being able to show that we have different types of avatars, different types of emotions to elaborate this. And our next generations uh, coming out, we've been able to work with more generative experience also in, in multimodal, so meaning using both uh, pictures coming in and pictures going out in order to, to be uh, ex experienced in, in the vehicles. So that is, that is something, too, for you to expect going forward. 
The next domain where we really broke through some, some very fundamental barriers is when we come to assisted or automated driving. In our previous systems, uh, we were very much rule-based when it comes to solving the cognitive load, so how to navigate through, uh, through streets and having control over the AIDA systems. What we've been able to do now when we've upgraded our compute, so we have an, an uh, Orinex in there in order to uh, host our models, and we're also the sensors uh, situation around the vehicle, making sure that we have an end-to-end -end data training loop here in the system. So 200 petabytes of AI training data in order to really to have a, uh, a neural network to be able to cope with situations that we could not cope with before. The, Fundamental result of that is that we've been moving from uh, a single sensor DNN uh, in our generations of vehicles which are out there, right, to really an end-to-end -end perception to driving situation where we can have really an AI-driven system to the end of the end. Or what we can do with that is astonishing. This is a, uh, a picture, and I'm just going to take one or two examples, and after that I'm going to show you a video. But we're talking, we are the first Western company, who is now uh, offering what we call Level 2++, so urban city driving in Shanghai, Beijing, and more cities to roll out later this year. And that is only because we were able to take this step to be able to have a model-based approach to solve these solutions, to really everything from park out to going through toll situations, unprotected left turns, being able to go into urban scenarios, dense scenarios. So let me show you this video to show you about Shanghai traffic driving with our system and what kind of experiences we are then able to, to provide. So uh, I can tell you it's been quite a journey. Uh, you can't imagine what it, uh, what it feels like uh, driving through the hutans in, in, in Beijing. And you have scooters going through uh, uh, towards your left and right, and uh, it's uh, making sure to see, OK, is the model actually learning to, to deal with these scenarios? Uh, it's, been, it's a very fundamental uh, journey for us. And to go into what that means for Mercedes-Benz and what it also means for us as a company. I have called Catherine here uh, with me and how we have actually been able to work through not only what happens inside the vehicle, but also what is the cloud support that we need to have in order to be able to bring this experience to our customers. Uh, I'm going to then uh, hand over to Catherine to uh, explain what this actually means for us from a business IT infrastructure perspective. So Catherine, please take it away. Thanks a lot, Magnus. And if you want to try out um, that cool vehicle, it's downstairs in the, in the Messehalle. We actually have a CLA here, so you can test it out. Visit our booth. Um, it's pretty cool. So we are all very excited. And um, it's a little bit hidden behind the E.ON um, booth, so you'll find us there. All right. Um, so software is the new fu uh, fuel, AI the new horsepower. Someone needs to help these guys to build the cars, right? And our production and our development and everything doesn't run without IT. So this is actually my job to ensure that the whole end-to-end -end development actually works. So from the workplace where everyone sits with their computers to sales and marketing to the whole end-to-end -end chain, this is where we come into play. And I was here last year on the developer conference. And actually, the Friday afterwards was not so much fun. Some of you might remember what happened that day because you couldn't take your flights. It was a little bug that, um, um, by, by, a, by a security company that some of you might remember that we're also using, which made my, my weekend a lot of fun because um, 
nothing worked anymore. But we got it fixed quickly with the help from a lot of um, great developers. So hopefully this time I'm going to have a calm weekend. So talking about our MBN, MBOS end-to-end -end software journey. So in the past, our two departments or areas of work were very much separated. And that actually doesn't work, right? We need to work hand-in-hand -hand together to ensure that IT delivers the foundation to what needs to be delivered in the car. So with MBOS, we have the possibility to do over-the-air updates. So this, this software in the car, um, you don't need to drive your car to the dealer to get the software updated, but you get actually, like your cell phone or um, your other devices, you get that um, software updated over the air, and that's actually a game changer. And there needed to be a lot of things changed to ensure that this works. Because we cannot just change all our processes. We're a company with over 130 years of legacy, and there's a lot of regulation in place as well. So we're the, we're the uh, founders of the automotive industry, so to say. Um, Kai Benz invented the car, and Bertha Benz ensured that people also wanted to drive this thing. And um, that means we really have a lot of heritage in our company, and we need to ensure that we keep that and, and don't destroy anything. On the other hand, we need to be very innovative and we need to be the front runner in, in those innovative technology. So over the air is now possible, um, test it out. Yeah. So this means the IT department and the ID department really needed to come together and ensure that we talk to each other and that we don't have those silos, but that we work as one team. And we said we are not IT, we are WeT. Yeah? We are working together as a WE team, and we accelerate the delivery cycles, and we bring the new software features to the customer way faster. And um, this is actually the journey to success here. So, as said, the enterprise IT spans across the whole value chain, from procurement to research and development, to production, and I see a colleague sitting here that's actually responsible for, for the IT in the production area, so happy to have you here. And um, then sales and marketing, um, after sales, um, data, absolutely also the IT software development. We're using a lot of standard software, but we're also developing our own software. And I saw the keynote of Thomas this morning, Thomas Domke. We're also huge um, users of GitHub Copilot, and, and we love it. So um, also kudos to, to them. Um, so we, we develop our own software as well, um, leveraging those tools. So let's take a look how we do this. Hey, Mercedes, I've been wondering, how are you using AI? Great question. Let me take you on an AI tour along our value chain. Starting in vehicle development, Gen AI supports our engineers with technical knowledge. For example, in creating high-quality component requirement documents automating compliance checks. In production, knowledge becomes instantly accessible on the assembly line, powered by MO360 and its chatbot ecosystem. In our paint shop, AI detects surface issues in real time during the painting process by flagging quality risks early, before production is affected. In our repair shops, intelligent AI solutions support service professionals with precise data-driven recommendations, leading to smarter maintenance decisions. In customer service, our teams handle a high volume of emails each day and rely on AI to intelligently sort messages and route them directly to the right experts. Through our Mercedes-Benz Direct Chat, employees gain instant access to knowledge, from summaries and translations to department-specific support, making it a trusted co-pilot of everyday work for everyone. That's just a glimpse of what AI can do at Mercedes. Ready for more? Lead the way, Mercedes. All right. <laughs> So if you ever wonder if I, AI will go away for Mercedes, it will definitely not go away. We cannot imagine to work without it anymore. And this is just a starting point. In every single department of Mercedes-Benz, we're leveraging AI already. So um, 
we're integrating it um, in, in all our solutions. And um, so the rapid development of, of those technologies is a huge chance for us, but it's also some risk. So we always have to, to mitigate be, be, um, the, the risk-based approach, and, um, but also to be compliant and, and ensure that we are secure. Um, so overall, it's a mindset. We need to change the mindset within Mercedes-Benz a little bit as well, to always focus on, on the data-driven mindset, exploration, pioneering spirit, this pioneering spirit we have in the company. Um, I, I just mentioned we have invented the car many, many years ago, so this pioneering spirit is still there. Nevertheless, we also need to transform it now to the, to the AI world. Data is a foundation. We have lots and lots and lots of data. We have to ensure that it's clean and ready to use. So there's lots of topics that we still need to clean up. I think last year I talked a little bit about our initiatives like the Care Woche, where we're cleaning up data to ensure that it's a great foundation for AI. And um, we have to ensure that we standardize our system landscape here. So for all of these enablement topics, it's important to have a tone from the top. I have the pleasure to report directly into our CEO, and he is also a huge evangelist of this strategy, and we live um, data-driven decision-making every single day. So we're supporting our developers. Um, we need to ensure that we get the best people, that developers like you guys want to work for us, so therefore, we try to give you an environment where we have the latest and greatest tools, where you're being taken care of um, all the nitty-gritty testing documentation stuff. This will be taken over by AI. We do empowerment. We have AI enabling programs for our developers and also for all the other employees. And we invest a lot into learning. My own leadership team is actually spending every Friday morning learning. Um, so we have colleagues here that, um, that train us, um, the, the stupid management guys, right? So we get to learn every Friday morning how to build our own agents and how to ensure that we are staying up to date. And this shines into the organization because everyone needs to stay on top of what's happening. And then also feedback cycles. So we need to do code inspection, identifying, improving, um, always our processes, our data, the way we're working. Um, it's AI first, it's thinking from a completely different way how to do things, and um, we're, we're pushing that, Magnus and I. Sometimes it's, it's not so easy, but we're getting there, I would say. So um, I hope you're excited about what's happening at Mercedes in the software area and AI space, and I hope to see all of you at the booth downstairs um, check out our new CLA, and um, we're looking forward to your questions.